for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, thrift stores, flea markets, places like that, anywhere we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Please make sure to hit that like button and if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to our channel so you can be kept informed of all of our latest content. In today's video, we're going to pull everything that sold for the last couple of days. It's Sunday and this is everything that sold for Saturday and today. We sold 11 things over the course of this weekend and let's get started. The first thing that we sold was a Simply Vera vegan leather purse. It's a small um, pewter purse, so we'll grab that. It's in bin A3 right over here. Hopefully it's right on top, but it doesn't look like it is. We picked this purse up in a, at a garage sale. It was in a dollar bin. Okay, it's this pewter shoulder bag or purse. Like I said, we picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold for $18.68 on offer to buyer. Any of our prices that end in the number eight sold on offer to buyer. We try to make any offers to buyers ending in the number eight. And I'll link a video above and in the description box below that explain how we do our offers to buyer um, and it explains all of that process in more detail. Okay, next is a lot of two prints vinyl singles. It's When Doves Cry and uh, Purple Rain. And those are right over here. Uh, we picked these up at the reseller garage sale and I got a bulk deal on everything we purchased at that. So I averaged out our cost and said that these cost $3.28 and they sold on best offer for $18 even. So we'll just set these down. Oh, we just sold something. <laughs> Let's see what it was. Locator dots. Yeah, locator dots. I'll just have to explain what that is. I'm gonna write it down. Okay, next up is a Build-A-Bear workshop Wonder Woman themed cat, and that's in our plush bins right in here. It's in stuffed animal bin B1. I can see it. Yeah, it's right here. It's this, this lady right here. We picked this up in the bins for 67 cents, and it sold on best offer for $27 even. Uh, next up is something we got from the other business that we own, which is a custom picture frame shop. And this is old stock that we had. We used to sell metal frame kits. And this is, um, this is one of those. It's actually just half of a metal frame kit. And we were very explicit in the listing saying that it was, um, only one half of the metal frame kit. They'll so probably they, still send it back. <laughs> I hope they read that, said that in there. But this is... Um, nobody reads. Nobody does. Nobody reads Listen. But hopefully they know that. It is um, this Nielsen and Bainbridge brand metal frame kit, one half of one. And uh, this is a 20 inch bronze flat top metal frame kit. This sold for $19.99, which was our full asking price. Hopefully it doesn't get returned. What are you going to ship that in? Probably in a tube. Okay. All right. Next up is um, a shirt. This is, the brand is Altered State, and we got this at a garage sale. And I didn't write down how much we paid for it. I just have a dollar sign. So <laughs> I think we probably paid a dollar for it. We paid money. Yeah. I don't know what, what I was thinking. A sum of money. I think, I think, I, I just wrote everything down, so I'm pretty sure we only paid a dollar for it. Uh, this is in bin A6. Is this the one that has like little squirrels or something? Yeah, on it? it has squirrels all over it's it. It's cute. It was really cute. 
um, altered state sells pretty well for us, but I probably would have picked this shirt up no matter what the brand, just because it had squirrels all over it, and I think it would have sold just for the pattern. Um, but it looks like this. It's a peasant top, and it's got squirrels all over it. We'll show you on the screen as well. That's nuts. And I believe we paid a dollar. Okay, next up is something we got doing retail arbitrage, which we don't do very often, but if we find a really killer deal, we will pick it up. And this was one of those. This is in bin C6. Okay, this is a super cute toddler, reindeer, sleeper, or it could be a Halloween costume too. So at this time of year, I don't know what they're purchasing it for. It could be either. We purchased it for $2.85 on retail arbitrage. So that is the reason why we picked that item up. And had they had very many more of them, we would have picked them up as well. But I think we got the last one. Or they might have had ones that were like much larger sizes, like for older kids and we did not think that they were going to sell as well as the toddler ones. I think that might have been the reason why we didn't pick up the larger sizes. All right, we'll go set these down. Okay, next up, where am I? Oh, next up is super fun. Okay, it's in closet one. Oh, but I, it's not, I don't have it. We have it all packed up, so we'll just have to show you on the screen. You'll see the screen picture. Yeah, it, I don't think the screen does it justice, but this I got doing retail arbitrage as well. Okay, so this is, we, we pre-packed this because it's very delicate and we didn't want anything to happen to it, but I had received a gift card to Marshalls and I did use it to purchase some personal items for myself, but <laughs> any as any reseller would do I thought well how can I make this money stretch so I purchased several items to also resell uh, to try to make some money and I was looking around and I saw this incredibly cool rhinestone disco ball purse and I, it was we purchased it for $32.46, although there technically wasn't any cost to us because that money that we used to spend on it was a gift. And it, this ended up selling for, uh, well, it says $124.99, but actually they used a coupon on it. And they, it was 90 something. It. Yeah, for around like $86. So um, that was a really good flip. It was just such a cool bag. It had, you'll see in the in the picture, it has, you know, like dripping rhinestones off of it and all kinds of cool bling on it. And it was just in incredibly unique looking and looked really, really expensive. And this is a dupe, this Badgley Mishka version is a dupe of, I don't remember what the, um, what the brand is, but it's a dupe of a purse that sells for thousands of dollars. So um, anyway, I picked it up for that reason and because this technically cost us zero. This was a good, really good flip. Uh, okay, next up is in closet two, which is right here. Uh, and it's sequence, the game sequence. <laughs> okay, so this game, which is sequence states and capitals, we picked up in the Goodwill bins. It is an open box game, so the plastic wrap was off of the game, but everything inside of the game was brand new sealed. So we paid 94 cents for this, and it sold on offer to buyer for $38.38. Uh, we did have this for a while, but I knew it would eventually sell. I specifically put homeschool in the title because it's, a, it's an educational game, and uh, I had seen that other sellers had homeschool in the title, and I thought that would help it sell. Whether it did or not, I'm not sure, but uh, we did eventually flip it for a good profit. Sometimes I, when we find stuff like this in the bins that is 
open box, but everything inside of it is brand new. I always wonder if some kid looking in the bins just ripped the plastic off of it in the bins. I don't know, because I see kids doing all kinds of stuff like that in the bins. Okay, next up is in B, bin B1, and it's a sewing pattern. This is a sewing pattern that I had for whatever reason and never used. This is a purse or backpack pattern. It sold for our um, full asking price of $7.49, but I think they had used a coupon or got a discount on that uh, because I think we originally had it listed for $9.99 maybe. Uh, and I've had this for a really long time. I don't remember what my original cost was. So I have our cost written down as zero. Uh, next up is in bin E7 which is like the hardest bin to get to, unfortunately. Hopefully this is on the top. It's the nightmare bin. I see it, it's right here. Okay. This is a Banana Republic soft wash flannel shirt. We got this at a thrift store. We paid $2.17 and it sold for our full asking price, I believe, of $14.99. This is an extra small, so it did take a little while to sell. All right, let's see. We have two more things to grab and I can probably grab all of those in here. Although one of them's in the other room. Okay, the next item is right here in D2. I'm pretty sure I picked those up in the bins too. Yeah, these came from the bins. These are Titleist golf balls, but they're branded with Crown Royal on each of them. Uh, we paid 94 cents for these in the bins. We actually had two boxes of them and we sold another box a long time ago. This box sold for $20 even on best offer. All right, and last, the item is in the other room. This is the item that sold while we were doing this video. Okay, next up is a lot of, a lot of four locator dots. We got these in the Goodwill bins and we paid, um, let's see, 92 cents a piece for these. So 92 cents for each, each package. So 368. 368 and they sold for um, $9.89 a package. So how much is that, Mr. Math? How much was it? $9.89 each. Oh man, now you're really doing it. 36. Uh, Oh, he's cheating. $43.96. He cheated I cheated on that one. I didn't cheat on the first one. <laughs> so they sold all together for $43 and how much? $0.96. Cents. $0.96. Cents. Um, so that wipes us out of these. We had um, maybe like 10 to begin with and we had sold them in I think like a lot of three and then um, a couple of individual packages. Uh, I don't remember how many exactly we had, but this wipes yeah. us out of all of all them. Gone. I don't know if we'll ever find these again, but if we do find them, we will pick them up. But what they are, are stickers for keyboards and they have braille, um, braille on them for people with low vision. So um, FYI, if you ever see these, they sell well. Um, and if you can get them for cheap enough, definitely worth picking up. I don't know that they have braille on them. I think they're just so you can, in, without looking at the keyboard, tell which keys your fingers are on so you don't, you know, so you can start on the proper keys. Oh, it has a braille type experience. Yeah, it's just like a little, it's a little nubbin. Yeah. It doesn't actually spell letters or anything in braille. It's just like a nubbin. Just so you can spot the key without looking at the keyboard. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, a locator. It's a braille type experience for people with low vision. <laughs> I think nubbin is probably a questionable term. Nubbin for what is these a are. professional term. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, those sold. So, um, that's everything that sold for this weekend. And um, pretty good. Pretty good weekend for us. Pretty standard. There's some decent dollar items in there. Yeah. So, um, that, pretty, that wraps up the video for us. 
Um, I did want to mention that we do have a buy me a coffee option if you want to support us in another way. You, the link is in the description box below. If you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.